Cat is Maxos here. This is the other tool promo tool that Gray had sent me, which was a very large PhD 12. This would be a 12 pound, 36 inch handle dead blow hammer. So there's a steel can. I mean, it's a pretty heavy duty can, but a steel can filled with steel shot welded to a steel core handle. We do have some pretty decent texturing here, but this texturing, this particular end cap shape and the particular shape of the head is real distinctive. They do have a flat, so it sits up top or sit, it will stand up straight when you set it down, which is pretty good. So once again, I appreciate Gray sending this to me as a promo product, but I'm going to say right now I think it's too expensive. They do need to work on the price because <clears throat> from Gray Tools, they're trying to get $320 for this. It appears to either be made by Trusty Cook or by the same manufacturer of ABC Hammers, the Gear Wrench Sledgehead, the Eastwoods. All appear to be coming out of the same manufacturer. It appears that there's at least a couple different American-made manufacturers. So I do appreciate that, that it is indeed American-made. And it's also kind of interesting that this was made in the United States. This was shipped from Canada to me. So it was made in the United States, shipped to Canada, and then shipped back to the United States. So this has been around a bit. So that's my big criticism is that Gray needs to come down a bit on the price because uh, this same hammer made in the USA can be found for, you know, you're paying for shipping too. They're around $200, but none of them were, you know, free shipping. So there's that to consider. Or this using my discount code is still around $275. They are expensive, but you know, at the $300 range, you can get the German made Wea, and Wea has a 15 pound version, but it's a totally different design with a hickory handle and replaceable faces, which I do like. So, that's my other suggestion is you know, for the price, maybe come out with one that does have replaceable hammer faces. That being said, it is hot, hot molded polyurethane, it is pretty heavy duty, and these are something. I'm going to come around here because this thing's kind of heavy. These are something that has been, I want to say last five years, maybe last ten years. But a relatively recent development. Deadbill hammers have been around for decades and decades. But the idea of starting to make dead blow sledge hammers, big, heavy dead blow hammers, uh, seems to be a more recent development that uh, people use these. And so... That was the, really the reason when Gray's offered to send me a couple of tools, I asked if maybe they would send me this, and they actually did, because I think my biggest dead blow is a uh, three-pounder, and the nice thing about a real heavy dead blow is all those times where you're using a sledgehammer, but you're either unnecessarily beating up or damaging whatever you're hitting, you're getting a lot of rebound off of what you're hitting. Maybe it's, I don't know, I wouldn't say driving fence posts. Maybe aligning, you know, using it in construction work, aligning posts, using it in uh, assembly work. You can use it in heavy equipment. There are, you know, excavators, all that kind of stuff. Have big steel pins that got to be inserted and removed. Lots of situations where you're using a, a normal steel sledgehammer, having to find a piece of plastic or a thick piece of plastic. Or pieces of wood to beat against so you don't damage or ding up the part and the fact that you have rebound is really an optimum situation so these big dead blows initially you might think well why have such a you know huge dead blow hammer it's the fact that it doesn't rebound whenever you make your hit it's actually kind of like a big um, I had to say like punching and following through, but that's the best way to describe it is you don't have that steel shot, the hammer face hits, and then the shot all moves. And so it acts like just a real big, you know, pushing or shoving action. And so there's so many situations where not only is it not damaging, but it's actually more effective work. If you're working with heavy timber, trying to align it, a big heavy dead blow sledgehammer is actually going to be much better just because you're going to hit it's not going to want to rebound or anything it's just going to give really deliver the 
the full amount of kinetic energy to whatever object you're working with. If you're trying to drive in large pins, building heavy machinery, doing various iron work, that type of stuff, a big dead blow sledgehammer is exactly what you want. Plus, you don't get loud ringing. Other than that, not a lot else to say about it. Um, you know, one of the things is whoever's making this is just silk screening on the various different tool company names. And it would be nice if they might have done a custom mold just so it was embossed so it wouldn't, you know, disappear quite so quickly. Otherwise, not a lot else to uh, say besides I appreciate Gray sending this to me. If they could work on the price just some to make it a little bit more competitive, I'd really encourage them to do so. Because it is a bit pricey for the American-made heavy, like in this case, 12-pound dead blow sledgehammer. Other than that, the quality is there. It's just, it's a nice hammer. It was shipped well. There's not a lot else to say. Really appreciate everybody who's been watching. See you next time.